Ravana Mardiniki! Ravana Mardiniki! Ravana Mardiniki! Jai Sri Mataji! I am sorry what has happened yesterday, but I think the war has begun between the evil and good. Uh, and after all, the good prevails in these modern times. Evil used to prevail on good, but now in this Kruta Yuga, the evil will be completely conquered by good and not that, but good will spread all over. The evil has a capacity to go to extremes and then to fall out of the evolutionary process completely. Because they are blind, they cannot see the good. That's why they are evil. If they could see the good, they would give up their evil. In our country, which is a country of yoga, especially Maharashtra, which is the country of the saints, I was amazed to hear what people are up to. One of the real source of this nonsense seems to be Rajneesh, the horrible fellow, because he has made an exhibition here absolutely renouncing all the deities and saying all kinds of dirty things. And I think the chief minister of this place is also hand in glove with him. And they are all trying to prove that there is no God, there is no spirituality. They want to <coughs> establish uh, that science is everything. We have no heritage of science in India. We have the heritage of spirituality. I mean, no, but he is known as such a great scientist in this country. Nobody has made any special inventions. And the way people are organizing it in the name of science, there's hardly anyone who has done anything of science. So it's the evil which has taken this new form of talking about science and denouncing God. Of course, in the West also the same thing has happened to a great extent, but not to that extent. They have not discarded everything that was spiritual. But here they have gone headlong, those few people who are there, very, very few, but they are there. So it's a <coughs> very bad growth in this country, it won't survive, I know, it cannot survive because this country is so full of spirituality. In the West, because people took to science, they have lost all culture of society. There is no culture of society. Uh, the etiquettes are limited to fork and spoon or how you wish each other. There is no other culture. It's so outside. There's nothing deep in it because they have taken absolutely to the modern or we can say that uh, is the industrial, uh, industrial evolution of the people. They have taken to all that and have lost contact with reality. The culture of any country can only survive on spirituality. 
Science cannot talk of this. And it has so many limitations that it cannot even answer simple few questions that are facing them. Above all, they have no idea what is love. They have no idea what is the all-pervading power. Now you all have felt it and you know what it is and you know how to use it. So under these circumstances I find that those people who are mediocres in Sahaja Yoga cannot help much for establishing goodness. You have to be very clean within yourself, you have to be very powerful within yourself and you have to be extremely sensitive. So we are not to waste our energy, our attention on to superficial and nonsensical things. We have to get out of it and we have to become people who are detached, detached from any things which create problems. If you take a detached view of everything, you will have a kind of a life that will nourish your society which is now sick, is a sick society, is a decadent society. And for that decadent society you need people who are very morally strong, who are tremendously pure and who know everything about Sahaja Yoga. The mediocracy in Sahaja Yoga is very common in the West, very common. And so much involved into their personal problems that I cannot understand how will they rise above this nonsensical personal viewpoint of you. So one has to realize that the whole tree that has grown outside so much due to industrial revolution has to seek its own nourishment from spirituality which is in India, no doubt. Spirituality without a development has no meaning. Spirituality has to have development outside, otherwise it is lost in the Mother Earth. It has to sprout and it has to show results, which we are showing, no doubt. In so many ways uh, Indian Sajogis are trying to show that, though they are rather slow about that part. So it's something funny that in the West people are rather slow, Sajogis are rather slow about their spirituality. And in India people are rather slow about their manifestation outside. Unless and until we really do some dedicated effort, it's not going to work out. So I hope as we have circulated letters that we have come here not for fun but for dedication and for our ascent and it's a pilgrimage. Talking loose, talking about small things, uh, quarreling with each other is out of question of course, but domination, terrible domination of falsehood, just to think that we are leaders or why is he leader, you know, shows that we are not yet worthy. So the worthiness of a ship is very important if it has to fight the turbulence of the sea. If it cannot fight the turbulence of the sea, then it is definitely not seaworthy and it is absolutely useless because it cannot go across. In the same way, if you have to be something, you have to work it out in such a manner that you really become worthy of crossing this ocean of illusion and that many could cross with you. As in India they have started at every place, at every home, at every family, a center. If they invite people, they talk about nothing but such. Now you can go all out to talk about it. I give you permission to tell them that I have come. 
there's nothing to hide. And you have to go and uh, go and open the doors of many churches and many temples and many organizations and tell them that I am there. Now the time has come, you can see it so clearly, it's obvious. First I used to say I would not go to the newspapers, it's not good, that's not good. Let us work it out. But it has come now so much that I have to say things and I'm going to say them very openly. I'm going to say that. But I want all of you to be such that nobody should point out a finger at you to say, oh, this is a surgeon. And how this surgeon is behaving. If somebody is stupid and not working it out, it's better to get rid of such a person or else help that person and tell him that you have to come up. You can't be here. We don't want mediocre people here. We want some very extraordinarily pure people. The purity is the main point which we have to have. Once you are pure, you don't have to worry, then I'll look after you. But the purity of mind, purity of heart and the purity of your attention, these three things are very important. When it works out, you'll be surprised, collectivity will grow in no time. It's a tendency among surgeons also still to go back to the same materialism and to try to have your own house, your family, your children, sort of a nonsense. We have to be in the ashrams and we have to work it out. We have to work it out very beautifully that we all live very happily in the ashram. But I find still, People cannot work it out that way. They are more concerned about their jobs, concerned about their things. Once you live in the ashram, I will see that you get everything. But if you do not want to have the blessings of God, how can anybody help you? So tremendous sacrifice is needed. Of course, as you know, in Sahaja Yoga I don't need any money from you at all. But Sacrifice is very important and sacrifice of nonsensical ideas that you have. In every way we have to show that we are surgical. The way you dress up, the way you live, the way you think, the way you behave, the way you have relationships with each other and the way you lead your married life and the way you look at your children. Unless and until you have purity, the light of love will not shine. The light of love will not shine. You have to absorb the light of love within yourself, but you cannot unless and until you are a pure personality. And that pure personality has to develop by your meditation, by working hard. It's a question of few years. In ten years we can change the whole world, in ten years, but you have to be really very dedicated. It is you who has to change, not me. You have to work it out, not me. I have done my level best, but within ten years it should be possible that every Sahaja should become a tremendous force of Sahaja Yogi. So please try to avoid all those who are mediocres. If you find mediocracy, the leaders must go all out to correct them all out to tell them off. Don't tolerate. You don't have to be very uh, mild on this point. You have to tell them frankly that, see now, you are an extremely uh, mediocre person for such a... Uh, it's not meant for mediocres. It's not meant for foolish people. It's not meant for stupid people. It's meant for something who are ready to sacrifice anything for the sake of truth. These people are saying that, why don't you go the way of uh, science? I say, why don't you the, go the way, the way of truth? Take to truth. Science is not truth. Today it might appear, tomorrow it disappears. Today you may think it is correct, but every hypothesis is challenged, every law is challenged, that's no law. 
You have to use Sahaja Yoga in every practical life, everywhere. But in no way you have to be fanatic about it. Like I have seen some people start giving uh, vibrations uh, or they start uh, moving their hands for bandhans. Even if I am sitting, they are doing like that. There is no stupidity about it. It has to be very dignified, decent and decorous. But for that we need really people of quality. And a complete obedience is needed, I must say. I had told Indian people that time that they must have a proper case done for them. They just didn't listen to me that time. They said, Mother, why do you want, you oh, know, you'll be in trouble and all that. If they had listened to me, there would have been no trouble today. But you must listen to me what I say. Don't give me explanations, don't give me logic, but I know everything, you know that. I know everything. Now we have something good for you is the list of the marriages. But marriages is not such an important thing that you think about. It's not such an important thing for you that you dedicate or your attention to that. It's just by the way, because you have to have a marriage, that's why. There's no need even to have sometimes. But you have to have it. And then letters after letters about your marriages, about your children, I just don't want to read that. Nothing about Sahaja Yoga. If you are detached, whatever may be the quality of your wife, you will not fall. Whatever may be the quality of your husband, you will not fall. So one has to be little concerned that what are we doing? What have we achieved? What are we going to give to the world? For me, you are my instruments. I don't have to ask anybody else. You are my instruments and you have to work it out. You are not, for me, useless people. I worked very hard with you, very hard. So please, don't waste my energies also and try to become very good surgeons in every way that is possible. In every way you should be dedicated. In every way try to be something of very great qualities. Now you have seen how people are becoming violent and there's a violence on. Of course, this may not continue, but it's one of the signs that we have to be prepared to be very strong people, very strong, and that will work out, I'm sure. This two about 400 stones at least, maybe more, according to the police report. And very few people were hurt. What does that mean? That there is somebody who is avoiding all these troubles. Regarding our tour further now, I have decided we will not go to Atit because they are, the Commissioner, uh, the DSP has told me that it's better not to go. Very, these people are very bad and they are criminals. So now, till the election comes in, they will be behaving like this manner. After the election, of course, they will be put down. So you should go by uh, the understanding of the time and uh, directly to Sangli, so we'll go to Sangli, we'll have a puja there, you can do shopping, whatever you like, and then from there we'll be going to Ganpati Pure. But it's not fun, it's not fun. It is our development. Otherwise we'll be coming to India, going back the same empty hand. I want you, everyone, to be extremely active in your own sphere of life, to talk about Sahaja Yoga. You must wear my badges, you must wear my rings, you must wear my uh, necklaces, so that people ask you, who is this? Then you should say, she is the Holy Ghost. You can say, we think she is the Holy Ghost. Let us see what happens. So, it's a serious thing that I felt that I have to talk to you and that we have to be very, very uh, careful about how we look at ourselves. 
we have to be aware, we have to be aware about ourselves and what is happening. I have been telling you this many a times, we have to be aware as to what we are and what is happening. But if your jobs are important, everything else is important, how are we going to work out such a So there has to be awareness and with your awareness the light will spread. But it's not silent, you have to talk about it. Eloquence is needed. It has to be eloquent. All your light has to talk, the light has to say, the light has to express and has to be very confidently done. Let us see now, after going from this tour, how far people establish new uh, things. So far, what my, my own opinion is that there are fifty percent of Sajogis in the West are still quite mediocre and twenty-five percent of them are just there to take advantage. If they can get something free, they would like to do it. Twenty-five percent, people are like that. It's very sad, but it is so. But I must say, Indians are poor people, but they will not do anything, they will never take anything free from me, nothing. They will not, they are very self-respecting. That is what we have to develop, that self-respect. Like I have seen, I had a house in Hounslow, everybody went there and said, stayed there free. Now we have a house there in shooting camp where everybody goes, who has no job goes and stays there. It's such a nonsensical thing. So I am even afraid to start any ashram in London because same thing will start. If they can take advantage, they would like to be there. Even a spoon they would like to carry like that. It's a shameless thing for a Sajogi to behave like that, I think. We have to have full self-respect. We must understand that we have to sacrifice and do something about it. Because this is the last leg, I would say, when I'll be talking to you about all these things and in the beautiful atmosphere here and on the bank of Krishna River. We have to understand that the river flows, it makes a sound. It makes a sound to show that she, it exists. But we are not only rivers, we are all the mountains, rivers, everything of the universe we are. And our manifestation is like a big zero, as if the Mother Earth has been emptied out. It is time that we should watch ourselves and see ourselves. What's wrong with us? Very important. I had to say this once again and again, but I don't like to say these things because I love you so much and I care for you so much and you people also love me. But loving me is not sufficient, you have to love yourself and respect yourself. Only yourself is going to work out. As Shivaji Maharaj has said, Swadharma Vada, uh, you must develop the religion of your spirit. That's what we have to do, is to develop the religion of our spirit. And once it happens, we can get the whole world completely emancipated. This is our work and if we fail, then it is the responsibility of Sahaja Yogis and nobody else. So for everyone I have to tell you that I don't have to please you, you have to please Me. For a small thing people react, for a small thing they uh, feel bad. If I don't smile at somebody, they feel bad. In these little, little things they feel bad and they react. If I say anything, they react. So how can anything go into you? If it is such a convexity, how will you absorb it? It is important that we should try to absorb with humility, with understanding. Now you are Sahaja Yogis, you know I am Adi Shakti. You have had photographs, you have known that I am Adi Shakti. But how much are we absorbing? How much we are taking within ourselves? This work is much more than any one of the incarnations had to do. It's much more than Christ, it's much more than Rama, much more than Sri Krishna. So create such great people among you. Because I have the power, only thing you have to have the absorption power, acceptability. But if you run after something very cheapish, 
and something very frivolous is impossible. You have to ask for your depth and you have to take in whatever is emitting from my being. I hope now you all will take it up seriously. Do your meditation every morning, whatever may be the time. Every morning we have to do the meditation and we have to see that we finish our work in the night and then we do little meditation and then sleep on. Without meditation you cannot grow and that's why everything doing you have to know that you have to get up in the morning, do your meditation and then you can take your work. Daytime if you want you can rest for a while. Now we are in such a place that we have time to rest in the world, but morning time you have to get up whatever time you sleep. You have to conquer your sleep a little bit, it gives you a lot of lethargy. Last night I don't think I slept before three o'clock or something like that. And then the whole day I've been busy writing reports, this, that. If I can manage at this age, at your age you should be able to manage something like that. We have no time to sleep, we have no time to discuss, argue or to eat our food. We have only time to meditate, that's all. I wish all of you absorb my saying and understanding without reacting to it. Please do not react. Don't think Mother is trying to chastise you. No, I'm trying to help you to grow. This is the way you grow sometimes, very fast. So it's just your growth I'm worried about and nothing else. So may God bless you all. I was very happy the way you were singing all the songs and the way you expressed yourself.